Tonight in Healthy Living, you have heard the stories about the young athlete who goes into sudden cardiac arrest. A doctor with Cincinnati Children's told me it's happened here a few times. One case last November even prompted the hospital to start a clinic for coronary artery disease. Not something you typically associate with a kid. But I met a tri-state teenager who got that very diagnosis. Teresa Mauck is helping her daughter pack for college. Natalie is heading to Indiana University, a new chapter she doesn't take for granted because of something she went through when she was just 13. It was just overwhelming. I was old enough to know what was going on, but still so young, and it was just, it was so scary. Doctors following up on a heart murmur. So Natalie, this is your ultrasound from back in March of 2013. Discovered she had coronary artery disease. Her mom was stunned. To look at her when she was growing up, you would never think there's anything wrong with her. She had no symptoms, and that's typically how cases like Natalie's go. These patients are at risk for sudden death, um, and usually that's their first symptoms. To better explain so the condition, Dr. Tom Kimball drew it for me. Her right coronary artery did not come off the proper location. It came off here and coursed over in this direction. So it ran between two other major vessels. When those vessels pumped more blood during something like exercise and Natalie played volleyball, they ran the risk of crowding out the artery. So it's not a clogging of the artery. It's a, um, it, it's Pinching basically squeezed. It's squeezed. Which could lead to cardiac arrest. Okay, how scary was that? Terrifying, <laughs> yeah. Open heart surgery. If we chose not to do it, it was like a, time bomb. Allowed doctors to move the artery where it needed to be. Her prognosis now is excellent. Every day, every day. It's amazing. And I would do anything. Children's Hospital saved my life. And it's off to college now. So question, if there are no symptoms and if doctors typically find coronary artery disease in kids by chance, how can a clinic really help? Dr. Kimball told me it allows doctors to standardize how they treat the problem and to develop a special expertise which could improve care. He also told me Natalie's condition is the second leading cause of high school athletes collapsing on the field. Wow. Yeah. It's one of those hidden dangers that could just pop up when you least expect it. It really makes you think, and yeah. if you get a diagnosis from your pediatrician of something like a heart murmur, you sure. probably want to get it checked out. Absolutely. Yeah. Great advice. Mm -hmm.